Hello friends, how are you? Doing well? Good. Keep doing well. Yes, it is too hot in India. Yes, it is summer, you know, very hot. Anyhow, welcome back to the series of lectures on fundamentals of organic chemistry. Till now, we have learned about three lectures or three chapters. Among them, structure of organic molecules was the first chapter and second chapter was reaction mechanism and reactivity of organic molecules. Third chapter was electronic displacement in covalent bond. Today, I am going to introduce about a new chapter that is chapter 4 about acidity and basicity of organic molecules. Mm -hmm. Dear friends, acidity and basicity of organic molecules is very 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 important to know the reaction mechanism and fundamentals of any organic chemistry or fundamentals of any reaction mechanism. This is the concept very very important. Yes. There are three theories in chemistry explains about the acidity and basicity of organic molecules. What are they? First theory is Arrhenius theory. Second theory is Bronsted and Lowry theory. And third theory is Lewis theory. Yes. According to first theory that is Arrhenius theory, an acid is a compound which ionized to give H plus ions in water is known as acid. At the same time, a compound which ionized to give OH- minus in water is known as base. Dear friends, according to Arrhenius theory, an acid is a compound which gives H plus ions. A base is a compound which gives OH- minus ions in water. It is very clear that Arrhenius acid is a H plus giver and OH- minus giver is a base. Second theory explains is bronsted lowry theory bronsted and lowry theory what it says an acid is a compound which donates proton according to bronsted and lowry theory a proton donor is a acid a proton donor is an acid a proton donor is a acid what is a base according to bronsted and lowry a proton acceptor is a base a proton acceptor is a base a proton acceptor is a base dear friends till now we have learned about two theories first theory is arrhenius theory which shows that which explains that h plus ions if a compound gives rise to h plus ions in water is known as acid if a compound gives rise to h minus in water sorry is known as a base According to Bronsted Lowry theory, a proton donor is an acid. A proton donor is an acid. According to Bronsted and Lowry theory, a proton acceptor is a base. A proton acceptor is a base. And third theory is Lewis theory. What is theory? Lewis theory. According to Lewis theory, an electron pair acceptor. An electron pair acceptor is a an acid. An electron pair acceptor is an acid, whereas an electron electron pair donor electron pair donor is a base. Dear friends, be clear. Bronsted Lowry and Lewis acid theory is similar, seems to be similar, but they are different. They are different. A proton donor, a proton donor is acid. An electron pair acceptor is acid according to Lewis theory. This is the difference. Be clear that Bronsted and Lowry is theory says that a proton donor is an acid, whereas Lewis theory says that an electron pair acceptor, an electron pair acceptor is an acid. It is very clear, friends. No need to confuse. There are only th three theories in chemistry which explains about the acidity and basicity of organic molecules. First one is Arrhenius theory where it says that a compound which ionizes to give H plus ions in water is known as acid. If a compound ionizes to give OH minus in water is known as base. Second theory says that Bronsted Lowry theory says that a proton donor is an acid, a proton acceptor is a base. And third theory says that Lewis theory, according to Lewis theory, an electron pair acceptor, an electron pair acceptor is 
an acid and electron pair donor donor is a base this is how acidity and basicity concept can be explained in chemistry but how to know the strength of an acid how to know the strength of an acid if a compound is known to be acidic but what is the strength of an acid or if there are two compounds which are both are acids but how to measure how to know the acidity of that two compounds and how to differentiate the acidity of these two compounds there is an equation to know the strength of an acid what is the equation for example if an acid ionizes in water to give rise to conjugate acid H3O plus and a base known as A minus conjugate base to deduce the equation a constant K can be taken equilibrium constant K according to equilibrium constant K a products divided by a simple mathematical equation says that products divided by reactants can be written like this to simplify this equation water is common in both at the same time since it is very large in amount it can be taken out from this equation and it comes to be an constant that is ka that is acid disassociation constant ka is nothing but acid disassociation constant is equal to products that is conjugate base conjugate acid strength strength of conjugate acid then conjugate base strength strength of conjugate base that is h3o plus into a minus divided by acid is known as ka what is ka k is acid dissociation constant that means if a compound is acidic ka value will be more ka value will be more ka is proportional to proportionate to acidity acidity is proportional to ka but but don't worry about this big 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 mathematical equation just understand that acidity strength can be explained can be deduced by taking this equation just uh, have a look don't worry about this equation so the important concept is acidity can be explained in terms of ka value that is ka is nothing but acid dissociation constant right but dear friends organic molecules organic acids are very very weak acids weak acids the value of ka is very small very small to right uh, means a very small to determine in terms of ka to overcome the this loophole to overcome this loophole that is ka value since the ka value is very small it can be written as pka 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 says that pka is equal to minus log 10 ka this is mathematical equation dear friends don't worry about in depth concept of this pka equal to minus log 10 ka in simple words pka is inversely proportional to the acidity of an acid inversely proportional to the strength of an acid that means if pka value is lower the strength of an acid is more dear friends it is clear till now that there are three theories which explains the concept of acidity and basicity and to know the strength of an acid there is a there is an equation which deduced to know ka that is dissociation constant the ka value of organic molecules is very small so to determine the acidity strength it is written in terms of pka pka value can be determined based on this minus log 10 ka if the compound pka value is small the strength of an acid is more for example there are two compounds having pka value one is one and other compound is pka value is pka value is 10 pka value is 10 among these two which is more acidic yes the compound having pka value 1 is more acidic than the compound having pka value 10 for example take sulfuric acid sulfuric acid strength of an acid of sulfuric acid is minus 10 pka value of sulfuric acid is minus 10 let us take hydrochloric acid pka value of hydrochloric acid is minus 5 whereas water if you consider it as an acid the pka value is 14 dear friends it is clear that if the value of pk is small or minus it is very strong very strong 
if the value is more it is weak acidic weakly acidic at this point i want to say ph is different from pk value ph value or ph meter or ph concept is different from pka ph says that a compound which is having ph value of 1 to 7 are known as acids if a compound having ph value of 8 to 14 are bases are bases for example acids having ph value of 1 is strong acid if ph value is 7 it is neutral if ph value is 14 it is strong base dear friends it is clear that don't confuse with pH value and pKa value. These two are different and pH value or pH scale says that 1 to 14 and it says acids and bases are kept in one scale. Whereas pKa says about the strength of an acid. Strength of an acid. What it says? Strength of an acid. pKa says strength of an acid. Let us see. In organic chemistry, there are only four types of molecules known to show acidity. How many molecules? There are only four types of molecules in organic chemistry shown to form acidity. They are carboxylic acids, phenols, alcohols and alkynes. Dear friends, carboxylic acids are having pKa value ranging from 1 to 5 and these are more acidic in organic chemistry. Whereas next comes phenols. Phenols also acidic and their pKa value is about 10. About 10. Then comes alcohols. Alcohols are having pKa value of 15 and these are very very weak acids. Then comes another kind of another kind of molecules, alkynes. Alkynes also known as acids. Alkynes are found to show acidity. Their pKa value is 25. But these are very 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 weak acids dear friends till now it is very clear that according to according to acidity and basicity theorems there are only three theories which which are which says the acidity and basicity concepts as per arginus theory a compound which ions to give h plus ions in water is known as acid a compound which gives rise to oh minus in water is known as base Next comes Bronsted and Lowry theory. This theory says that proton donor is acid. Proton donor is donor. A donor is an acid. Proton acceptor is proton acceptor is base. Then comes Lewis acid theory. Lewis theory says that an electron pair acceptor is an acid. An electron pair donor is base. These are the three theories which explain the acidity and basicity of any compound in chemistry. To know the strength of an acid, there is an equation deduced based on Ka value. Since the Ka value of organic molecules is very small, to represent or to determine the Ka value in terms of Ka, it is very tough to write up or it is very tough to demonstrate the Ka value. So to overcome this, there is a pKa value is taken into consideration where pKa is equal to minus log 10 Ka. That means pKa is inversely proportional to the strength of an acid. If the pKa value is small, it is strong acid. If the pKa value is more, it is weak acid. For example, carboxylic acids pKa value is 1 to 5 and all kinds pKa value is 25. That means carboxylic acids are very strong acids than all kinds. Dear friends, it is all about acidity and basicity of organic molecules where today we have learnt about concept of acidity of organic molecules in next video i am going to explain in detail about acidity of carboxylic acids thank you thank you for watching bye thank you for subscribing please keep watching more for more videos please subscribe this channel bye take care sayonara